Is it time to buy or sell Palo Alto Networks stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palo Alto Networks. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, the 20th of May, 2024. And now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for any one among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since the 22nd of April, 2024, our system has ranked Palo Alto Networks as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 5.64. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 14.94% since we first listed Palo Alto Networks as a buy candidate 21 days ago. This translates to an average return of 0.71% per day since it was listed as a strong buy candidate. The stock lies in the upper part of a wide and weak rising trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader, as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $330.23 will firstly indicate a stronger rate of rising. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 4.86% change over the next three months, with a possible return between negative 11.55% and 6.95%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 32.48% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 13.7% and 65.41%. This translates to a price range of $368.13 to $535.54 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palo Alto Networks includes the headline, Palo Alto Networks Inc. Stock Upgraded from Buy Candidate to Strong Buy Candidate After Monday Trading Session. The Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock price gained 1.86% on the last trading day, Monday, the 20th of May, 2024, rising from $317.85 to $323.77. It has now gained four days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day, the stock fluctuated 3.21% from a day low at $314.58 to a day high of $324.68. The price has risen in seven of the last 10 days and is up by 7.72% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and in total, 3 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 7 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $2.17 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $380.84, and the lowest price was $188.34. Currently, the price is 14.99%, or $57.07, below the 52-week high, and 49.48%, or $317.13, below the all-time high on the 20th of April, 2022, when the price reached $640.90. Analyst Ratings On Monday, May 20, 2024, it was reported that Wells Fargo gave PanW a overweight grade with a hold action. On Monday, May 20, 2024, it was reported that RBC Capital gave PanW a outperform grade with a hold action. On Thursday, May 16, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank gave PanW a overweight grade with a hold action. 
On Thursday, May 16, 2024, it was reported that Barclays gave Pan W a overweight grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, May 14, 2004, it was reported that Wells Fargo gave Pan W a buy grade with a hold action. Analysts have given Palo Alto Network stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P.E. ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a strong buy rating. The following signals have been identified for Palo Alto Networks. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The Palo Alto Networks Inc. stock holds buy signals from both short and long term. Moving averages, giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals, where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $310.28 and $289.75. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Thursday, April 4, 2024 and so far it has risen 22.09%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month Moving Average Convergence Divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving Average Convergence Divergence, buy signal, Pivots, buy signal 33 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal seven days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 20 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see short moving average, buy signal 24 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal five days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, buy signal 46 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, risk, and stop loss for Palo Networks. Palo Alto Networks, Inc. finds support from accumulated volume at $314.75, and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $10.10 .10 between high and low, or 3.21%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.27%. Before we delve into the potential good trading levels for Palo Alto Networks, Let's quickly go over some important fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This critical ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A high PE ratio could indicate that the stock is overvalued or that investors anticipate high growth rates in the future. In other updates, the upcoming earnings report for Q3 2024 is anticipated on August 16, 2024. Now, let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palo Alto Networks. There's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above, which means the stock could move upwards swiftly under the right conditions. In this case, you might want to enter a position and use volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, Palo Alto Networks encounters its first support level at $314.75. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palo Alto Networks from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Clarich Lee, who bought and sold 276,895 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of negative 34.901. Overall, insiders purchased 448,000 
847 shares and sold 945,103 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $312.57, negative 3.46%. This stock has medium daily movements, which poses a medium level of risk. The RSI 14 is 77, significantly increasing the risk. A buy signal is present from a pivot bottom identified 62 days ago. Is Palo Alto Networks stock a good buy? Palo Alto Networks Inc. holds several positive signals and is within a weak rising trend. As the old saying says, let the trend be your friend. We therefore consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Tuesday, May 21st, we expect Palo Alto Networks to open down negative $2.76 and start trading at $321.01. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.